So a few days ago, I created a video showing how to use checkboxes that could help with uh, when creating an instructional video, or really steps or instructions for anything. Now, what I'm going to show you today is actually very interesting. We are going to conditionally add checkboxes. So basically, no, step number one is we add text description or the steps or whatever you want. You add it in this area here, and you could go down further, um, but basically, let's say you had a few steps. You go in here, you type in the text. Now, you can leave um, blank spaces. That's because if the, uh, the text boxes are too close together, or let's say that your steps go in groups, right? So you could uh, leave some spaces here, and uh, it will still create them and skip over those blank rows here in column K. And then number two, we're going to add a checkbox label name. So in here, you type in whatever you want your, you know, it's going to be called step one, step two, step three, as we'll see in a minute or it could be called goal one, goal two, task one, task two, whatever word that is, and preferably only one or two words, um, but type it in here. So you'll see in a second, uh, when we go to add the checkboxes, it has the name with a number associated with it. Um, so let's just click on number three, the macro will add the checkboxes. So we click add checkboxes, and here we have step one, step two, three, four, five, and it skips these blank rows. So let's try something out. We're going to delete these checkboxes. We're going to go in here and, and change this to task. And then I'm going to go in to this cell, and let's say we delete that one. And uh, here we say goodbye, and here we say goodnight, uh, something like this. And let's make sure that they increment properly. Here we're going to say um, do this part two. Let's make sure that they, it's one, two, three, skip this, four, blank, blank, five, and six. So let's click add checkboxes again, and there it is. Task one, two, three, four, five, and six. So um, I'm not going to explain all of the code, but if you, you're definitely welcome to see it. Download this file, go to developer, go over to Visual Basic, and in here we have the code that I created. Um, and here I have a text description. If we sort of scroll over to the right, I tried to explain this the best I could. Um, actually, I created this on a day off from work. So it was kind of fun. It was just a challenge. At first, I told myself a few days ago, no, it, you know, it's, I'm, I can't do this, but it didn't take too long. Um, but you know what? I was able to figure it out. It took, it took a while, but I figured it out. So that leads into the next thing here, the very, the very last thing about can you learn VBA? And I can definitely tell you that you can. Of course you can. So the first thing is this. You have to have a growth mindset. Do not limit yourself. Here's some examples of things that I used to tell myself that I, I couldn't do, but I do all of these things now. Uh, speak a language. Uh, I'm a team leader of a live support analytics, and I love to draw, or I love to doodle. And all those things I always told myself that I couldn't do was some sort of set thing. So have a growth mindset. Number two, you have to be curious. You have to be out there reading books or Googling. Uh, you have to think of something to build in VBA and then just go crazy and build it. You'll learn a lot along the way. You can't just, you know, just watch a video or just read a book. You have to start building stuff. And this part right here, it says, be clear about what you want. Uh, if you need help from someone, whether it's an online forum or Googling, whatever it is, you have to be clear about the steps you want. Uh, write or draw what you want to build. And number four, know your resources. Ask for help. And there are a ton of free resources online. I would say number one, start with Mr. Excel's forum. Read the rules on how to post. Post your questions. And there will be people answering your questions faster than you can imagine. And over here, these are just a few very helpful VBA-related websites and YouTube channels. I know I missed a whole bunch of them, but I just typed these out as fast as I could uh, because I go all over the place to, to learn different bits and pieces of VBA, and these are some that I find very helpful. So once again, find something to build out of curiosity or necessity. Uh, start piecing it together, start testing it, ask for help, and you'll be able to build stuff like this.